be making bases. All right, so we understand that we now have to maybe switch out some of the sounds that we have in the beat because you know you want it to be at this best quality. Um, what we're going to be doing is covering how to use the EXS24 sampler uh, to create your own drum kits, okay, using professional sounding drum sounds, okay? Now, the reason why I'm using the EXS24 sampler because it's a stock plugin. In this course, I, I want to teach you how to mix using just primarily the stock plugins. Um, you know, there's a lot of plugins out there. And I don't want you to get confused or, or basically not be able to use this course. So that's why we're going to be using this uh, EXS24 sampler. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is you can create a new track to do this um, software instrument track. And, you know, you saw what I did. Pretty much just click on the plus sign and you're ready to go on that. Um, what you're going to do is go over here, make sure that the inspector is selected, um, the eye on, at the top right here, and you're going to go ahead and turn this down. Okay, this is a send. And this is a, it's basically a sending a uh, reverb signal to this track. And turn that down because you don't want reverb off the top on your drum samples. Um, the next thing you're going to do is click right here um, to the far right where, it's, where, where you can see the instrument right here. And um, once you click that, this window is going to uh, pop up. And this is where you can access the EXS24 sampler. So scroll down or up to the ESX or EXS24 sampler. You can select stereo. You can, you can always change it to mono later, but you can select stereo. And once you select this, this guy is going to pop up. All right. Now, it can look very daunting at first. You wouldn't be able, even really be able to tell, like, how could I actually even create drum kits with this? But all you're going to do is go to edit. And once you click edit, this guy is going to pop up. All right. This is your sampler. What you're going to do is very simple to create these samples. These drum samples is go to instrument and click on uh, new. And then this is going to pop up here. What you're going to do is go to your computer, wherever your drum sounds are located. I go to my finder. You can go to um, your, your MacBook Pro, wherever your drum samples are, basically. Go to wherever your drum samples are. I, I put my drum samples in this drive right here. Okay. I have all these sound banks and drum kits right here. And what you want to do is go to the drum kits. And, and select the drum kits that you like, okay? So, for instance, let's just say that we're going to go to this Johnny Giuliano kit. Um, shameless little plug for him, basically. Um, and you, okay, I want to, you know, get some 808s bumping. I want these 808s to be in my drum kit. So what I would do is I would click, select all these drum kits or drum sounds. Click on here and then come down to the very bottom and push shift before I click on it. And it's going to highlight all of these. And I'm just going to simply drag these sounds right here where it says name. Boom. Now, once you do that, you're going to see that you can add you're adding these 20 samples. There's different ways to add them in here. But for the purposes of this course and the purposes of what you're doing here, just push continuous zones. All right. Now, when it says zone width, you can pretty much make it. Um, make the samples extend over a couple of notes or just one note. And for our purposes, we want to put it over one note. And with this right here, it says start note. This is where it's going to start on the actual keyboard. So if you wanted to start at the very bottom of the keyboard, say C negative one, then now you basically need to come over here and change it to C negative one. Or you can type it. You say C negative one, bam. And so then when we push OK, all of those 808 sounds are going to start here and go up the keyboard until they're, you know, till all 20 samples are laid out. So I'm going to push OK and bam. Now you got 808s. OK. Now, a couple of things here that you can do. You can um, when this is selected. Pitch right here. 
it's basically saying that it's going to keep the original pitch of the sample. Okay. If you don't have select this, depending on the type of sample that you have, it can mess up, you know, your sample and your sample could sound real low depending or high where, depending where you put place it. You also want to make sure that one shot is selected. Reason why is because like, for instance, say, say if I play this sound, I have to actually hold it down the whole time. That could be kind of a bad thing based on, you know, the type of instruments that you're, you're going to be putting in here. So make sure that this one shot is selected. Depending on what you want to do or the type of sound that you want, you can push reverse. It's kind of dope. But um, for most for the most part, we're going to just keep it like this. And what I would do is I would keep on going. I would say, all right, I got my 808s. So now let me go ahead and get a few uh, kick drums, kick samples. All right. So I got these kicks. And of course, you don't maybe maybe I don't want to put all these kicks in here. I'm just going to go from right here to right here. So I hold down shift. Do that. And I would just go ahead and drag these again into this section right here. Again, make sure continuous zones are selected. Wherever, you know, this note start is, that's where the, the samples are going to continue. So what I can do is say, okay, I'm in the, the, the zero section. And if this is the last note, which is a G, if I started on G uh, sharp here, then basically um, that's where all my kicks would start. So I can just go down to G sharp, bam. And then now all my kicks are going to start right here and go all the way up, all 20 samples of those kicks. So I'm going to push OK. And now we have kicks. So see, this is your um, um, 808s. Now we have kicks. Got a variety of different drum sounds here. And basically what you're going to do is continue this process of building your uh, your drum kit. OK, um, let's say some good ones, some claps. I'm going to take about 20 claps or whatever. Click right here and then click on um, hold down shift. And we're going to just drag these bad boys in there. Same process here. Now we're in the C2 area. So now what I would do is, OK, this is E. This is where the last kick is. So we're going to put it on C2 or F2. OK, that's where we're starting it off. Boom. Now we got claps. So as you can see, basically, we're building this drum kit. Right. Keep on going through the process of this um, until you have everything that you want in here okay you're gonna need some snares as well man you know you can't have a good beat without snares a lot of times bring some snares in same process here this is going on f right here which we're in c4 you so i'm gonna push f4 that's the quickest way to do it boom so now i got snares um, and you could pretty much let, let, you know, put whatever you want in here. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be one thing over the other. You know what I'm saying? I could just put maybe a few, uh, hi hats and say, if you wanted to sample, like basically audition the hi hats and, or whatever instrument first, you can come over here in your, 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 um, wherever you have it right here or your finder window. And you can select this, this right here, this option. And you can go to your drum kits. Let's see here, wherever they are. Uh, what did I have? The Johnny Giuliano joint. All right, boom. I was on hi hats. And if you click there, you can actually audition it before you drag it in to see what you want. All right, so that's a pretty solid one. So yeah, you could do it like that too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight these from right here to maybe like say I don't need a whole lot of hi hats, just to give. Gives me some hi-hat sounds. Drag that over. Bam. 
So now this one is starting at uh, C sharp, but we're, we're in the sixth, sixth region. So I'll say C, uh, C sharp, and that's the number sign, and then six. Now when I uh, click this, So as you can see, something was wrong here. So what I could do is I don't ever want a sample. I can just highlight it and push delete. And those samples are now gone. And I can go down here. And as you can see, you don't see hi-hat in here. But you get the picture here. Let's say that, that we, we we put everything we, we wanted here. So let's just say we have claps and snares and kicks in this drum kit. Now in order to save this drum kit, what I'm going to do is go to instrument. Go to save as. OK, and you're going to give it a name. So I'm going to say um, Johnny Jew Lee Ano uh, kicks claps and snares. You can get it, give it, give it whatever name you want, but I'm just going to put that in there and then I'll put save. Now, whenever you want to pull up this drum kit and get these get access to this stuff, you can. So let's go over how to get access to it. So what you would do is say, say if you're starting from scratch, you know what I'm saying? You got a new session right here. All you would do is go down to this instruments and push open. And you would find your, your drum kits right here. Okay. Now, from time to time, Sometimes you 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 wouldn't be able to find it, all right, for whatever reason. If you ever have an issue like that, all you're gonna do is click search and push E X S. The reason why you're doing that is because you're gonna have the file extension E X S. Now another way you can always find these is if you go right here to your device and go to users, depending on where everything's located, but this is where it's located in my computer. I click on that, my name, and then I go to music. Uh, I go to audio music apps and then go to sampler instruments. And then you have find all your sampler instruments. I wouldn't recommend moving these anywhere else. Keep everything in the same folder. Um, but anyway, so like say if we want to open up that kit, just click on the kit that you have here. And then now all of those samples are already ready to go. So it's kind of a long, um, le longer lecture than probably what I wanted, but I, it's a thorough lesson, lecture, lecture, and I wanted to make sure you knew how to do this or have the option to do that. If you need to know where to get you know, professional drum sounds, pretty much a lot of producers are, are creating their own drum kits and things like that nowadays. And also as an added bonus in this uh, course, I also um, am going to include a link to a drum kit that I created um, that you can use for free of charge. Okay. Um, just follow the link and you can get download those drum sounds. If you have issues, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.